So the main water service coming from the meter comes through the house just about 18 inches from the front hose picket. And you see that we don't have landscape here to dig up outside the foundation. Um, we have a brick stoop here and it stretches the entire part of the house, this side of the house. And we've got hardscape coming off this brick stoop. Follow me. All this is hardscape. And the path of the water service comes with the sewer right on through here to that pile of dirt where the water meter is. Now we've got all types of utilities, irrigation systems that go underneath the drive uh, and throughout the yard. We've got main power, which is the red, data, which is the orange. We've got main gas on this side of the street also. Um, so we have all these utilities in the way. We have all this hardscape in the way. Uh, how we're going to replace this, uh, this water pipe is through not trenching, not digging, but uh, through a pipe burst method. And we're going to core a hole on the inside of the foundation and pipe burst from the inside of the foundation on out underneath the ground pulling our new new pipe through while we're bursting the old pipe in place. It doesn't affect the uh, ground settling. It doesn't affect any of the utilities. We're not going to have utility conflict. Uh, it's going to be the least invasive way to replace this water pipe. Yeah, so like I was saying, where we're going to start replacing this pipe is actually right through this foundation wall. So we're going to use a coring bit to core a perfect hole and center it up with this, with this pipe coming through the wall. We have blue polybutylene on the other side of this coupling coming through the foundation wall that connects to copper. What we're going to be doing is cutting the pressure reducing valve off, main valve, uh, backflow preventer, getting it all out of the way so that we can core our hole, so we can run our cable on through with a splitter head and pull that new pipe through. With the plumbing hardware cut out of the way, we are making our core hole through the wall where the new line will be pulled through the old line. The cable has been run through the old pipe in the foundation wall where the cable reappears at the water meter. At this point we have the cable hooked up to our pulley system. Through the cord access we've created, we are using the pulley system to pull the new line in place of the old line underground. Here's what was happening on the outside as that cable was being pulled through the pipe. We've got the cable hooked up to a pulley and from the pulley, we routed the cable to the other truck. It has a grabber attached to it. We're driving approximately 80 feet because we're replacing 80 foot of pipe on down the street. Now we're gonna see the new pipe come through. There it is. And the new pipe has been pulled in place, 80 foot of pipe. All right, so what we can see here is that we pulled the new pipe through in place of the old pipe. And I can bring you on over here and show you what it does to the old pipe. We have a splitter head that splits the old pipe and pulls the new pipe in place behind the splitter. Now we've avoided all of the utility conflicts, main power, main data lines. We've got main gas that runs through here that they have yet to locate. Uh, but we're going to take you on inside um, and show you uh, how we were able to pull it through the foundation wall. Not to mention, we didn't have to dig up any of this landscape. We avoided all of the irrigation boxes like we were pointing out before with all of the spider webs of the irrigation lines running, through, running underneath the ground. We've avoided having to make a repair up underneath the hardscape in this, uh, this brick up here. And we pulled the new pipe underneath the brick. We pulled it right through that foundation wall. We didn't have to get any, into any of the hardscape. And so all of our connections have been made. We see that the meter has stopped spinning with our new water service. 
which is turned on and we can come on over to the two holes that we had to open one at the meter and one at the irrigation to connect the irrigation back in and you can see what the splitter head does to the pipe here's here's a section of that pipe that we split it just splits it our new line comes on through and you can see it here where it just gets split and the new line just gets bursted right on through and it's as easy as that here's what the yard looks like after the work is wrapped up all right so we've got the hydraulic cement in place we've got our pipe coming through the wall uh, sleeved in a pipe size uh, of one and a half times the size of the diameter of the water surface to protect it from the concrete foundation wall uh, and we follow the pipe we transition to copper we've got our main water shutoff valve we've got a gauge a pressure gauge that shows the water pressure coming through the uh, in that's being fed by the street it's at 80 psi right now uh, oh anything over 80 psi we are required to install a pressure reducing valve so we've got a one inch pressure reducing valve and we've got a pressure gauge showing what the house pressure is right now which is sitting at 60 we've dialed this up from 50 psi uh, from 50 to 60 psi to provide for a good flow rate throughout the house